started in November of 1999. In that time, what have you covered? Yeah, mainly at the Courier. It's been uh, um, public safety type stuff. What do you like about covering public safety type stuff? Um, it's just, I mean, it, it, it's interesting reading, um, and it's just interesting to kind of dig into and. Um, uh, which is kind of a, a, a segment of human nature that I think a lot of people are interested in. Have you covered protests before? Have you covered riots before, marches before? I've covered marches, um, and you know, I don't think I've ever covered anything that you would maybe consider a riot. Do you feel like um, you've been put into dangerous situations in the past as far as crime scenes or anything? Uh, yeah, I've, I've gone, you know, shooting incidents where you know they haven't gotten the guy yet and everything's fresh and you know there's people bleeding and, and stuff like that just kind of being right there and uh, I cover fires um, so you kind of I guess you kind of learn how to where to stand where not to stand how far to stay away you know look for hazards stuff like that were the marchers themselves peaceful at the yeah time? yeah for the most part yeah I mean they get angry and, and um, loud, you know, at the cops and when they stop at a police station, when they stop at a, you know, the sheriff's office or whatever, uh, you know, but for the most part they're walking and, and chanting and getting their, their point across, getting what they want to be heard and, uh, you know, for the most part not damaging anything or breaking anything or hurting anybody. How do they treat you? Monday night was fine. Were you worried about covering protests Tuesday, or did you think it would be more of the same? I, I wasn't, I guess I'm never really sure what I'd get. Uh, you know, the Monday one was not really bad, and uh, you know, the Friday one went smooth from what I saw. Tell me what changed about Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday was a larger group than Monday. Um, it seemed like they started out a little earlier. They knew that you were a journalist. They knew you were the courier, or most of them did. Do you think that there were people that didn't know? There might have. I mean, I I wasn't had my a black shirt. I had my you know my, my badge out and stuff like that. And I had a a camera and was kind of keeping you know around the edge of the group so I can get a better photo as opposed to in the middle of the group. And I, you know, just trying to keep ahead of them and trying to see what worked visually. So yeah, I was kind of in, in photographer mode. Earlier in the, the march, kind of as we were going past the courthouse, one of the guys um, started kind of yelling at me about, you know, he didn't want me around or something. He knew I was media, um, uh, and he didn't want me there, so I kind of outpaced him, got ahead, was actually trying to get to the front of the march to get some better shots of them, kind of mm -hmm. visually kind of coming towards you know, at the front of the group as opposed to the back of people's heads, just trying to get a better picture. So I, you know, uh, kind of moved towards the front, uh, away from him, kind of kept him in my mind, stay away from this guy. We keep, we keep marching and eventually they get up to the Highway 218 overpass over Mullen Avenue. Um, and at that point, uh, it'd been a lot of walking, so we kind of lost a lot of, a lot of the other people, the, the crowds, thinner than it from when it had been started because it just like we lost a lot of people along the way a lot of walking um so we get to the top of the bridge and um the police apparently have it uh there's no traffic or anything they got it blocked off and they're a ways away uh, so this guy kind of starts renewing his you know telling me to leave um and a little bit more aggressive than before, and I you know, basically said, "No, I'm I'm here. I'm just doing my job. I'm you know, this is public property, such as it is us blocking the highway and everything." And um, uh, yeah, so he he kind of gets louder and angrier, and and the other uh, protesters uh, kind of take my side a little bit. Uh, I didn't realize it uh, until I looked at the video, but there's, he kind of took a swing at me at first. Um, 
kind of towards my head, and it looks like it kind of came in this, and I, you know, I don't have an injury there, so I don't know if, if I jerked back or if he connected and it was just light or whatever. He did take a swipe at me um, kind of that first time. And I just kind of, you know, continued backing up, and at that point some of the other demonstrators um, at that point kind of get between us. Uh, they're sticking up for me. One of the one of the people that kind of stand between me is kind of this small guy in a backpack, and um, he was sticking up for you. Yeah, he's just sticking up for me, and I mean, he goes up directly to the guy, and he's got his hands up, and um, you know, trying to talk him down or whatever. Um, and uh, you know, I'm trying to just kind of keep distance, keep him back, and. Uh, you know, the main you know, one guy kind of revs up a few times and he just clocks him real hard straight in the face. Uh, and kind of the guy, small guy with the backpack, stumbles back a little bit and and uh, then gets to his feet and kind of puts himself between me and the other guy again. And at this point, I'm I'm kind of shaken and I'm like, yeah, I didn't want I didn't want that guy taking another hit, so I kind of go over and I kind of. You can't really see it on the camera. I think you can maybe see my hand. I put my hand on my shoulder, left hand. I got my camera in my right hand, and I'm just kind of telling him, you know, I, I didn't want him taking another hit just because of me. I was just saying, it's okay, don't worry about me. Just, you know, go on, don't, you know. I didn't want him getting hurt again. Um, and at that point, again, off camera, you don't see it. Is um, Someone comes up behind me and tries knocking my camera out of my right hand. And I had it kind of tethered around the wrist, so it uh, it doesn't you know hit the hit the pavement or anything. It, it uh, kind of swings out, and I recover the camera. And so my thought is, okay, somebody came up behind me, so I kind of turned to figure out who you know who, who it was that came up behind me and took you know tried to knock the camera out, so I could start staying away from him. And. Uh, He's kind of walking off like, you know, he didn't do it or like nothing happened or whatever. So I kind of get kind of a visual on him so I can see who he is. Um, and he kind of turned and we just kind of locked eyes real quick. And I'm just like, okay, whatever. So I turned, you know, didn't want to fight or I wasn't there to fight. I was there to you know do my job, take pictures and, and report. Um, so I was just like, okay, whatever. So I, I turn and at that point, um, I don't think it was the guy that knocked the camera out of my hand, but someone else kind of came up and hit from uh, from behind, just kind of lands, just kind of right, you know, back side of the head, um, catches part of the ear, and uh, punch you, you mean? Yeah, just yeah, just clocked me, pretty good punch. Uh, I, I kept him, stayed on my feet, and um, I think at that point everybody kind of started pulling back, as you can kind of see in the video. Bro. I don't you know, I think I've ever been hit before. I'm I'm sure I've been maybe shoved or something. Um yelled at definitely. Uh and, and that's just major main, mainly the a function of kind of the the subject matter that I cover, it's usually not a lot of happy stuff um, that I write about and emotions can get high. And uh, uh, so I mean that that part's, uh, first time I've really been, taken a good punch though uh, while on the job.